Hello guys, welcome to Macau Test Measures. And in the today's video, we will be di diving into the chapter two of our project management and entrepreneurship series, the idea incubation. This chapter is all about the sparking the creativity and turning those sparks into the viable business ideas. We will explore the techniques for brainstorming, evaluating, and refining your ideas to ensure they have the potential for success. So whether you are a starting from scratch or looking to improve an existing concept. This chapter will provide you with the tools you need. So let's get started and unlock your creative potential. At first, idea incubation. Idea incubation refers to the process of new training and developing a raw concept into a viable business idea. This stages involves extensive research, brainstorming and validation to refine the idea and align it with the market needs. Entrepreneurs evaluate the feasibility, potential impact and scalability of the concept. It includes the gathering the feedback, conducting the prototype testing and iterating based on the insights. Effective incubation helps in identifying the potential challenges and opportunities, thus preparing the idea for further development and investment. This phase is critical for transforming the innovative thoughts into actionable business plans that can attract the stakeholders and funding. Factors determining the competitive advantage. Competitive advantage refers to the attributes that allow an organization to outperform its rivals. Factors determining the competitive advantage include the cost structure, brand reputation, technological innovation, product quality, customer service and market share. A firm's ability to leverage these factors effectively can lead to a sustainable competitive edge. For instance, cost leadership enables a company to offer the lower prices, while the differentiation allows it to offer unique products. Additionally, strategic partnership and the ability to adapt to market changes also play a crucial role. Companies must continually access and enhance their, these factors to maintain the competitive position in the industry. So now market segment. A market segment is a subgroup of a broader market that shares the specific characteristics and needs. Segmentation allow businesses to target their products and marketing efforts more effectively. Criteria for segmentation can include the demographics, geographic locations and psychographics and behavioral traits. So by identifying and focusing on distinct segments, companies can tailor their strategies to meet the specific demands of different customer groups, enhancing the satisfaction and loyalty. Effective segmentation leads to more precise marketing, efficient use of resources and better market penetration. It is an fundamental strategy for business to align their offering with customer preference and gain a competitive edge. Blue Ocean Strategy the Blue Ocean strategy is a business approach that encourages the companies to create the new market spaces or blue oceans rather than competing in existing ones saturated with competition or the red oceans. The strategy focuses on innovation and differentiation, aiming to make the competition irrelevant by offering a unique value propositions. It involves exploring the untapped market rethinking the customer needs and delivering the breakthrough products or services. By doing so, companies can unlock the new demand, reduce the cost and achieve the high growth. Successful implementation of a blue ocean strategy requires a creativity, a strategic vision and a deep understanding of market dynamics. Okay? So, industry and competitor analysis. Industry and competitor analysis involves evaluating the competitive landscape to understand the market structure, size, and growth potential. This analysis helps businesses to identify the key players, market trends, and potential opportunities or threats. Market structure and analysis examines the number and strengths of competitors, barriers to entry, and market power distribution. Market size assessment estimates the total demand for product or services, while growth potential analyzes the future exposure possibilities. By understanding these elements, 
companies can develop the informed strategies, improve the positioning and capitalize on the market gaps. Effective analysis is essential for sustaining the competitiveness and marketing strategic business decisions. Now Porter's Five Force Model Porter's Five Force Model is a framework for analyzing the competitive forces that shape an industry. Developed by Michael E. Porter, this model helps the businesses understand the dynamics of their market environment and devise the strategies to enhance their competitive position. The five forces are the threat of new entrants, the bragging, the power of suppliers, the bragging, the power of buyers, and the threat of substitute product or services and industry rivalry. At first, the threat of new entrants. This force examines how easily the new competitor can enter the market. Factors affecting this include the barriers to entry such as the capital requirements, economics of scale, brand loyalty, access of distribution channels, regulatory policies. High barriers to entry the decrease the threat, while low barriers increase it, potentially reducing the profitability for existing firms. Regaining the power of suppliers, this force analyzes the influence suppliers can have on business in the industry. When there are few suppliers or when they offer unique or essential inputs, their bragging power is high. This can lead to the increased cost of businesses. Conversely, if there are many suppliers or alternative sources, the bargaining power of suppliers is lower, benefiting the businesses. The bargaining power of buyers. This force considered the impact that customers can have on prices and quality. When customers have many choices or when they purchase in large volumes, their bargaining power is high, which can drive the prices down and demand higher quality. Businesses need to understand and manage this power to maintain the profitability. Threat of substitute, products or services. This force evaluate the likelihood to cost of customers finding alternative products or services that meet the same need. If substitutes are readily available and affordable, the threat is high, which can limit the prices that businesses can charge. Companies need to innovate and differentiate their offering to mitigate this threat. Industry rivalry. This force looks at the industry of competition among the existing firms in the industry. Factors influencing the rivalry include the number of competitors, the rate of industry growth, the product differentiation, and switching cost for customers. High rivalry can lead to price wars, increase the marketing cost, and reduce the profitability. So understanding these forces helps the businesses to access their industry structure, identify the areas of strength and weakness, and develop their strategies to achieve a competitive advantage by leveraging the insights from the five force model. Companies can better navigate their market landscape and make the informed strategic decisions. So at the end, the chapter 2 idea incubation. Today we have explored how to generate and refine the innovative business ideas. I hope you found these techniques helpful in sparking your creativity. In our next video, we will move on to chapter 3, the entrepreneurial motivation, where we will delve into the what drives the entrepreneurs and how to stay motivated. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated. If you have any questions or ideas you would like to share, please leave them in comments below. Keep innovating and I will see you in the next video.